sure is nice out today. So much sun. I just did a exercise to connect to the earth and to the sun. You know, there's always a shifting going on. There's always a balancing of energies. And your body will tell you when you're out of balance or when you are in balance. I suspect it takes quite a while to become a master of that. <laughs> yeah. So many people ask me how to connect. You know, I want to connect, I want to connect. I want to love, I want to have relationship. And although you cannot fake love, you know, you cannot create love. Love is a natural state of things. Love will reveal itself to you when you have seen through the illusions of your own suffering, okay? Whatever it is the object that you're sitting before that you are incapable of connecting to, I guarantee you are feeling something, even if you're feeling numbness. Okay, this is very profound stuff, if you know what I'm saying here. If you wish to connect to something, don't worry so much about connecting to it. Connect to what it brings out in you. Okay, so if you want to connect to someone special in your life or someone not so special, <laughs> feel, feel what it is that happens inside you when you are with this person. Feel what experience emerges. And in the midst of that, you allow that feeling to reveal what it truly is, the spiritual unraveling, I call it, and then a deeper level of something will come up. You may have many layers of disconnection come up, such as anxiety, uh, stress of some sort, whether it's shame, guilt, anger, irritation. I know I always say the same things, but there are only so many flavors of suffering. You know, neutrality, numbness, boredom. Boredom's a really good one that tricks a lot of people. And as you feel this, and you allow it to be there, and you no longer blame the other for it. You don't blame the object of your supposed affection for it, okay? You just sit there with that object and allow the stuff to emerge. In time, something very blissful and peaceful and loving will emerge for you. It will present itself. See, this is you cleaning up your filters. So now you can use every single thing in your life that you cannot connect to that you are supposedly disconnected from. The truth is you are already connected. It's just your mind is perceiving something and saying that is disconnection. So if you wish to clean up the mind so that it's no longer constantly torturing you with this experience of disconnection, you sit before whatever it is that you feel disconnected from and you Deal with the emotions that come up. Deal with the numbness. Deal with the boredom. Feel this stuff and be with it and hold the connection anyway. Now the great thing is, is that you can do this with the earth. You can do this with the sun. You can do this with the moon. You can do this with animals. You can do this with trees. You can do it with everything. And everything that you connect to will have a gift for you some type of healing because if you're connected to the tree i'm sure inside you will be now connected to the wood element perhaps you will have a greater ability to deal with the sunlight and bring in nourishment and healing energy from the sun because now that inner tree is now uh, one with you everything on the outside is also inside you okay so yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what some of you do with this. I mean, we're so focused on just relating to another person, but relationship with everything is extremely healing. So where you start is understand what connection is not. You don't try to make a connection happen. Oh, I'm going to force myself to love this person. I'm going to, I'm going to do whatever, I'm going to take whatever actions. I'm going to give them a hug and say the right words. I'm going to come up with some scenario of how to give them a gift. That's, that's connection. 
No, the most powerful and fastest way to connect to someone is to become aware of what experience is there that you are believing. What veil is between you and the object of your affection or object of your attention? What veil is revealing itself? Okay, so um, I'm excited actually about you trying this out because it's an extremely powerful, fast path. It would be a tantric method, I guess. Hmm. It's, a, it's a very fast path to enlightenment. Hmm. So yeah, thanks for watching and I look forward to hearing from you. Talk to you soon.